Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We all know Webflow is kind of a complex tool for designers like us. Now, what if I told you there are certain set of tools that can convert Webflow into a complete functional design tool? It'll feel as if you're designing in something like Figma or XT, and these tools work right inside your browser, so you don't even have to go, uh, go around installing applications or anything. By the end of the video, you'll be able to quickly create websites like this, have no knowledge of Webflow even, and even import stuff from Figma. So without further ado, let's just get started. All right, so the first tool we're looking at is called Flowbase. With Flowbase, you can either create a drag drop, drop design tool like you could do in Figma or XD, or you can even just copy and paste from ready-made templates. They also have something called design assets and color libraries. So you can manage all your Figma color libraries in something like Webflow. Now this price tag is for the premium, you can get it or you can even use their free version for now. And it's super convenient to use because it's available on the Chrome extension web store. You can even get it on Microsoft Edge and Firefox, but for now I'm going to use it on Chrome. Just search for Flowbase and here you have Flowbase Chrome extension, that's it. Just add the extension from here once it's installed. Now once you have this installed, you'll have to go to Webflow, open a new project or an old project and hit refresh. Once you've refreshed the page, this is where the magic happens. You on the left, right here, right below the settings icon, you'll have this little Flowbase icon. Open it and you'll have this lovely Flowbase extension installed on Webflow right here. So inside components, you'll find a bunch of free assets or premium assets if you have the premium. Now here, if you like a design, you can quickly just copy to clipboard, come back to the body tag right here and just paste it. Now you have a complete design already ready for you inside Webflow. And so cool because everything is categorized into certain components. So if you want a features section, you can get a features section. If you want a team section, you can get a team section. Whatever you like, it will be loaded on your fingertips in seconds. Not only that, a lot of these assets have little animations attached to them. So if you're switching from one to the other, all the functionality and the animations are inbuilt. Now they also support remix icons. So gone are the days where you had to download an SVG onto your computer, upload it to a, a Webflow and then paste it in your project. Here, all you need to do is click on anyone that you like here. So adding icons is gonna be so much simpler. Just search for an icon, copy and paste from right here. Not even, you don't even have to press copy, just click on the icon. Now another feature they have is something called tool belt. This is something that nobody else has. So the first one is color swatch organizer and it has an extra plugin that exports color from Figma and imports them directly into Webflow. They have a little plugin called Webflow Color Importer by Flowbase and this is all you need to install. Once that is done, you can just you can just connect your Figma account to your Webflow account or your Flowbase account and that's about it. You also have something called Shortcuts Manager. Now, learning shortcuts from Webflow is going to be a little tricky. Why not just make your own shortcuts? <laughs> so here what you can do is you can create your own shortcuts by just clicking on any of these options right here. So if I say shift S, I'll be able to add a section anywhere. See, I can just drag and drop as new section is ready right there. Now the fun doesn't end there. If you go to this, there will be something called guides at the bottom. So what it allows you to do is just pick any one of these options. For example, I really like adding these custom range sliders. How do I add these cool custom range sliders? You just have to either copy to clipboard or you can copy the code directly. So any, any element that needs code or any of these cool tricks that they have here in their guides, and just copy the script. Once you have the script copied, you can just copy it from here and go to this pages right here. Inside any page, you can just click on the settings and inside settings, if you go to the bottom, there is this add custom code to the body tag. So if you have a Webflow website, you can just now add custom scripts with these really cool solutions they have in their guide section. All right, so the next tool is also really cool. It's called Relume Library. Now, the cool thing is that they have a lot of free UI kits for Figma, so you can just get started in Figma and then end up in Webflow. If you want the full tutorial on that, I have a full tutorial on Figma to Webflow. I'll link it in the description. Now, what's special about this is that instead of installing an extension, you have the library ready here. So you can just go to Browse Components 
and search for any of these components, header section. If I click on header section, I can just copy from here. Here, I really couldn't find free options, any anything there, but you can get their free fig market. So all these elements you can have in their free fig market. Another really cool component library or resource library is called Mosaic for Webflow. So you can quickly just go to browse assets. Uh, maybe I want a nice footer and you can just copy these footers from right here. The good thing is that this is a free component library. You don't have to pay up for anything. There are no premium options or paid options. It's a simple component library made by Luca. So Luca, thumbs up for this amazing library. So these were some of my favorite. Again, comment down below any of your favorite component libraries or tools for Webflow. I will see you every Monday and Thursday. I'll see you every week just like this. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, take care. God bless.